The hand drawing process for me is still probably the most important process. My name's David Kayon and I'm an industrial and interior designer. I was always, uh, you know, fascinated and obsessed with cars, aircraft, mechanical moving things, uh, sculptural things, architecture. I went to art class but I really wasn't fascinated by doing things like portraiture or landscapes. I was always interested in drawing objects and making objects. I worked in the studios of um, George Souden and Mark Newson and Jersey Seymour and all of them mentored me in different ways about the profession of being a you know, designer or somebody that creates things for a living. I've been fortunate enough to have a long relationship with Qantas Airways and we recently completed the design of the Dreamliner. Our projects in that aerospace world aren't just limited to the actual aircraft but also you know, products on the land and, and even the sort of utensils and products you might use on the aircraft. After we are happy with the design or the fundamental idea that, that I've produced, I'll work with my team here in the office to start to create 3D computerised volumes. And those will be done probably in conjunction with some basic handmade models, whether they're in cardboard or foam or something like that. And this enables us to really quickly understand the space and how that space works. The hand drawing process for me is still probably the most important process. That, that I go through in design because it's the most immediate way for me to get an idea out of my head. So having just a simple old fashioned pen and paper drawing on top of a printout or something like that with your, with your team is still for me one of the most important elements of what I do and probably something that I spend more time doing every day than anything else. I think the most rewarding part is when you see something that you've designed and something that you've worked hard on. When you see it come to life and functioning and, and when you really when you see it in the flesh. Um, there's nothing that can replace that for a designer seeing something realised in 3D, especially things that are complex. When you finally get that opportunity to fully interact with it, to, to feel it and to sort of, I guess, validate that everything that you imagined about it is correct, um, that's when you really get your reward.